I am 32 years old. Um, I'm married. I'm a father of two children, and I'm a retired U.S. Army. I used to be a PE teacher. I've been a public speaker since I was 15 years old. I was in the helping profession. Had my own business. As a chemist, I'd worked over 30 years. As a school counselor. Well, I was working on the staff of a large mental health hospital. Nursing school. Director for an aerospace company. So I was originally prescribed lorazepam, 0.5 milligrams. 1.5 milligrams of Xanax. 0.5 milligrams of Clonopin. Alprazolam at 0.5 milligrams. You gave me transin or chlorazepate, 15 milligrams, two times a day. And diazepam, once daily in the mornings. because I had developed a condition called tinnitus. Because I was having trouble falling asleep. Insomnia. Some anxiety. Because of an adverse reaction I had to AccuPain. That my blood pressure was really high. It was stressful figuring out my place in the world. There were a lot of things going on at work. And I started having anxiety attacks. For insomnia. My doctor told me that benzodiazepines are safe. Um, benign, commonly prescribed. He never once warned me of the withdrawals or how you could have tolerance. He told me that I was a good candidate for clonopin therapy. Never mentioned anything. Um, I was just told to take it on a daily basis. I might become addicted to it and I really wasn't afraid of that because I'd never been a person that was into taking drugs recreationally. To begin with, I was doing pretty well. About six weeks after that medication was prescribed, I began to experience uh, some neurologic deficits. I would say maybe three weeks after taking the benzos, I started experiencing agoraphobia. About two weeks after I started taking it, I had my very first ever in my life panic attack. I began to, right away to notice some mental fogginess and some slowing down of my reflexes. It started to change me. It started to change my personality. I had GI problems, insomnia, terrible insomnia. I was so severely depressed. My memory was shot. There were some times I was getting this pins and needles feelings in my fingers and, and feet. Issues with memory. Fatigued all the time. Sleep issues, I was getting tinnitus. Migraines. I also experienced um, chronic infections. I started getting bladder pain. Boy, for some reason I just couldn't focus as I had once had. No one in the military, especially the doctors prescribing it, none of them knew what they were saying. None of them knew what to tell you. None of them knew how to get you off. My doctor didn't understand how to titrate me off. She didn't really know what was going on. He said he had no clue. Called the doctor's office, explained it to them, and they said they can no longer help me. Nobody had any answers. She didn't think that my problems were from the Xanax. And the diagnosis kept changing. I asked him and he said that I would have to take the drugs the rest of my life. So instead of taking me off after a few weeks, my doctor actually doubled my dose. Up. There was no such thing, quote, as benzodiazepine tolerance withdrawal. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I did a lot of research and I found the different benzo groups. And eventually I came across a, an online forum called Benzo Buddies. And someone pointed me to the groups on Facebook. And if it weren't for the fact that I had Benzo Buddies, I had Facebook groups that kind of informed me on this, I would be dead right now. Once I got off the drug, I don't even know how to explain what happened to me. An absolute nightmare. Um, things got worse. Just confused. The suffering that I have to go through now on my benzodiazepine withdrawal and in my taper is worse than anything I suffered overseas. And I saw a lot. I had a grand mal seizure. I, I stopped sleeping. Chemical sensitivities. The deep depression. I had really low blood pressure. I had seizures. My teeth hurt. But it feels like you have cavities everywhere. It's the nerve pain is so severe. You're curled in a ball in bed. You can't function. You can't even think. 
I was confused. I didn't know where I was. Your memory loss. Suicidal. Intrusive thoughts. Hardly recognized my family. Nausea. Depersonalization. Derealization. I had a seizure. Fell down a flight of stairs. Numbness in, in all of my extremities. Difficulty breathing. Rage. Dizziness. Acesthesia. I feel like my head's gonna explode. Burning skin. Hot flashes. I was going into fear states. Body temperature fluctuation. Double vision. My muscles would be cramping up. My extremities go numb and cold and I can't feel my hands. I can't feel my legs. Fluctuations in blood pressure. I developed new allergies. I was agitated, crying, shaking, pain, hallucinating. Vision problems. I have this screaming tinnitus in my left ear. Ear hunger. Menstrual problems. It was horrible. I couldn't do basic things like drive or work or socialize. We're talking can't leave the house. I'd have full body twitches that would keep me up. I've got insomnia that is can't even be described. I couldn't read. I couldn't listen to music. Sounds hurt. Everything hurt. Um, I had hallucinations. I spend about 20 to 22 hours a day flat on my back, paralyzed and debilitated, unable to function because of the horrible withdrawal. Can't stand for longer than a couple of minutes. Disabled. Completely mentally disabled. Just feeling afraid to drive. A racing heart rate. Devastatingly imprisoned in my mind. Just about every test imaginable that you could have done and they all came back normal. It's the worst thing ever. Definitely the worst thing in my life. Is I ended up spending the next 15 months slowly, slowly tapering off of this drug. Once my taper began, that, that sensation of having the blues lifted. After two and, year, two and a half years being clean, my withdrawals are pretty much gone. At this point, I've been off the Xanax for six months and still experiencing symptoms. It's something that I've lived with for over two and a half years. It took me about two years to, to fully recover. This is a waste of our life. Well, maybe three years. It's been about two years. I've been off for seven months now. And I continue to experience symptoms. I never expected to give up what now have been two years of my life to this medication. When I told my doctor about this, she denied that it was possible. I tried going to different psychologists, therapists, so on and so forth. They didn't know what I was going through. And she believed me once I told her about the Xanax. He didn't believe in protracted withdrawal syndrome? And she told me that once the drug's out of your system, the withdrawal is over. One doctor threw me out of her office saying that I was an addict looking for more drugs. He didn't know anything about it. Why can't they just realize this is a thing? Had I even known that this was possible, I would have never filled that prescription. Uh, this is completely preventable and it keeps happening to people over and over because these drugs aren't understood. I understand everybody's frustration about um, all of those people who don't believe us. And we need people to believe us. We need help. We need to work together to make this better.